Um, and then I have this to announce just some hair sweet tart ropes, lifesaver gummies, and then I've heard that perineal foam, but this. Okay, welcome back to our channel. So this is my first solo video. Joe's obviously the pro at this. I wanted to just share kind of what I'm doing as far as getting the baby ready. So I have a couple of videos that I wanted to film as I'm getting ready. So this first one will be a what's in our hospital bag and I will follow up with a what I regret bringing or what I regret not bringing to um, the hospital once baby comes. So I think you can see baby's name right here, but if you're watching this, you already know, or it's already been announced, our baby's name. Here's a little teaser if you don't know yet, but I guess wait till the end and you can see our baby's name for real because I imported the baby's name onto a couple of onesies. I'm going to start with my bag. So I um, bought new bags for Joe and I. I just thought that buying a few new things so that we didn't feel like we were missing something, anything like that. And we haven't bought new luggage since we got married. Okay, so the first thing I have, um, and it's at the top of my bag just because I used it this morning, but I have a blow dryer. I don't know if I'm gonna wanna take a shower. We'll see, but I did bring some of those toiletries as well. That's at the top. And then I have like a little mirror, makeup, get ready, something like that, especially for pictures and stuff. I think I would want to. So this is the first thing that I've instructed Joe to get out of the bag. And this is like my bedside table bag. Opening it up, I have some electrolytes. I'm not really sure what the hospital will let me do, but I have some electrolytes. This is a mocktail sample mix that I got from Sprouts. Um, and then I have a hairbrush and I have a little eye mask. I have some, these are some sample prenatals that I got. I'm not gonna bring the whole bottle because I'm still obviously taking those. Buy me with some. I have a clip. Also, I have just some hair leave-in conditioner. Sometimes my hair gets frizzy. I have some lip balm. This came from my Ipsy bag. Many things came from my Ipsy bag and I just kind of saved them. That would be that I like to travel with. So I have lip balm. I have a body lotion. I don't know if these brands are good at all. This I got in a sample from Amazon. So if you are pregnant and you create a baby registry, I would advise signing up for the Amazon one, the Target one, the baby list one, and ordering at least one thing off of it so that you can get that sample bag. And then I have a couple of makeup products. I have some powder, some clear mascara, some Listerine, just, you know, some dry shampoo, a toothbrush, some deodorant, makeup remover wipes. I know I shouldn't be using these really. I need them for my bedside, then they're just going to be just fine. So while I'm in labor, I thought I'd just be in the normal hospital gown because I've heard you, you might feel nice if you got one, but you're probably just gonna feel gross. So I have one for afterwards that I'll probably wanna wear by myself, but I've heard grippy socks. I think a student gave me one of these. So shout out to one of my students that I think he was a sixth grader and his mom probably picked that out um, <laughs> and just knew I liked, he just probably knew I liked cats and his mom probably. I have some compression socks. Um, I have a couple of nursing bras and I bought the ones from Mom Cozy. I've heard that maybe you want like your belly since you're kind of just going back to normal and your organs are trying to find their way back to where they are supposed to be. You might want to be like kind of pressed in. So I bought just some biker shorts. Some women say that they like them. Some people say they don't. Two pairs of pajamas. I think that I will only need one. Worst case scenario, we're there for a few days. I have a longer recovery. So, so I'm going to bring two for pictures and just kind of for like skin to skin. I have a like button up one with like matching bottoms, a neutral one that kind of would just match anything that Joe or baby has. I have a pink robe. Is the last th 
article of clothing that I have and it's just like an old navy dress um, super cute so this is just kind of like face and hair um, so I have like a, a sleep mask like a vitamin C sleep mask cuz I feel like hospital air is gonna be super drying. I have like a little a little bit of a hair serum, exfoliating, just more face moisturizers. I think this one is makeup. So I have like a primer, BB cream. This is a liquid concealer, a makeup brush, a beauty blender, a new tube of telescopic mascara, an eyebrow pencil, setting powder. So I already have, this is just gonna be like a shower bag. Um, so I just bought a body wash. Um, I've heard that the Freedom Mom one, or any fairy bottle with this is just superior and the hospital doesn't give you one. Um, and these are disposable underwear. I'm fairly certain my hospital would have these. I asked my doctor and she said, you really shouldn't need have to bring anything. And then a couple of like nursing pads, O'Neill foam. But this is probably the most important item, knockoff silverettes. So with the knockoffs, I made sure that they were the exact amount of silver. And I looked at like the properties of this. Also these, ice packs again I think that the hospital will have them the only other thing is I have this my chargers in this bottom portion right here I have shower shoes my um whenever we took the class for like a birth class someone said to bring a heating pad because that might not be offered okay so Joe did not pack his bag I packed him so I just ended up buying him like a couple of new outfits. He tends to get cold and I'm thinking that hospital is gonna be kind of cold. He has this little social vibe. So I brought him that, brought him two black t-shirts. These I um, are just like golf pants basically. Bought him just if he didn't want fully black all the time. Of black shorts, again, that golf kind of material and then some new just kind of pajama shorts. Deodorant and body wash. And then the fun part, I packed snacks. Obviously I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat, but some of these would be like afterwards, etc. So Joe's favorite are like the fruit leathers. I'm thinking like snacky in case we're up all night where you're probably not gonna be like hungry hungry, but He's a snacker. Dried mangoes, he's obsessed. Sweet tart ropes, lifesaver gummies, and then just a few different kind of granola bar type things um, that would be good for me afterwards as well. A variety of granola bars. You know, he is a prime guy. Again, just in case it's the middle of the night that we're delivering and he needs some energy and there's everything closed. Everything is closed, can't go get a cup of coffee. Those are the snacks. Bottom of Joe's bag, I have just a couple of pairs of shoes that he can slip on and walk around the hospital with. A storage cube that we have. I packed Joe um, a pillow, a blanket, a towel, a washcloth, and then I also put Boppy in there. Um, personally, I bought a Boppy, I bought a boppy and then I bought for sure the name brand of the my breast friend because it straps around you and gives you a little bit of back support but the u-shaped one so we can have that in the hospital now I'm going to show you the baby's bag and again you'll be able to see our son's name um, the first thing I have in here is just a manual breast pump I have little syringes and a couple of like breast milk bags in here um, I have a fan I've heard this is really nice when you're in labor basically this is pretty much empty I want to take as much hospital stuff and shove them in here I have a diffuser it's brand new um, and I have a lavender essential oil I'm also bringing a haka um, and then I have this to announce baby's name I have a sharpie for this little sign and then a pen I know there's gonna be a lot of paperwork then I have a sound machine that just you know white noise I've heard it's loud sometimes you use them sometimes you don't I don't know um and then so this is for baby I bought a few of these they were like on clearance and like Walmart's dollar spot like they're trying to be like Target basically so I have one 
for the hospital with things that we want to put baby in. Knotted gown. It's pretty long. I didn't know I ordered a three to six months, but it is three to six months, but it looks pretty small. With a little hat. This is going to be one of the announcement pictures. So as you can tell, it says Asher. I did it. I embroidered this. Um, my friend Laura embroidered stuff. And since we weren't letting anyone know the name of the baby, the gender of the baby, um, I was just like feeling guilty if I would order to have ordered it from Etsy. So I looked up a couple of YouTube videos, did a couple of practice stitches, and I think that I did my best. This one as well, it says Asher Lewis, which is going to be his name. Just this little green, it matches, you know, back there. So that is everything that I packed. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope I didn't talk too much. Um, I know that when I talk to Joe about the, all this stuff, I talk his ear off and he's just like, do whatever you think is best. <laughs> My thoughts, again, were just, I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, kind of thinking through like worst case scenario, like we're there a few more days than we expected. Hopefully everything goes smoothly. And I will see you guys in the next video. And yeah. <laughs>